news lines, truly social media, a mix of live chat, tunes and cartoons. A bit like Bowie's at Beckenham Arts Lab in the 60s, but without the mime. This canal was built in London by Irish navvies, but it's not named after them. London has 32 boroughs, and in a plot twist worthy of Hitchcock, whose first studio was just here, six of them were occupied by the Irish from the 1950s onwards. I'm Brian, and Hitchcock will call this my MacGuffin, my plot device, for it is on this bank that my character, himself alone, recalls his coming of age in Irish London, 1968 to 78. While the media marks seemingly endless anniversaries of important events, in my spoken word performance, himself evokes the parallel happenings in ordinary lives. Lives like yours, lives like mine. We weren't all in Studio 54, but we all had to learn to dance. I see it as an inverted Hitchcock film, where the walk-ons take the lead role. Yeah, no, I worked for the Independent for 17 years, which was both fun, and, well, interesting, you know, and fun. And what were you doing for them? I was drawing pocket cartoons, which were um, topical, often based, well, the last few years I was on the letters page, which was where the loonies that used to read the Independent used to write it <laughs> with their particular obsessions, <laughs> um, and I'd have to illustrate that, which was fun, really, because they were so... Sometimes it was very topical and good fun and interesting and on, you know, uh, on, on trend, on interesting about we real all life. We at the same time. So this is me. My name is Will Hatchett. I live in the depths of South East London suburbia and this is my shed. What do I do? I've, I write poems, recite them to myself in my kitchen. I uh, feed the birds, do little odd jobs around the house, sit in the kitchen, reciting poetry, and chores sometimes, washing and so forth, calling in my cat, and I sing. You can't hear me singing here, but I sing with a guitar and ukulele, and I pop out and do a bit more gardening because there's always more gardening to do isn't there watering it's a creative oasis my little house it really is what I love to do above all is to recite poetry to myself before retiring into my shed I want 